my question to you is of all the choices that you've had, you're here. Why did you choose something else? You could have stayed in the brick and mortar or you could have chosen another virtual um, avenue as well. Um, what made this one stand out for you? And that may help some educators who's making a decision who are one in the brick and mortar schools and saying, you know what, I really like this. And I know, um, Jillian, you spoke of some things that just made sense for you because of your transition. It kind of just fell on my lap um, because I left the classroom and I thought I would just do nothing. And I had a lot of, I have five children and 12 grandchildren. So I have a lot to do that's fun, you know, outside uh, outside of work. And I thought, oh, I'm, but then everyone goes to school, you know? And I, I my last son, group, my last child, um, left a couple of years ago and here I am a classic empty nester and I was like wow what do I do with all this time I can't garden that much or read that much and I was kind of feeling like I wanted to go back anyway into you know real education I'm just kidding but <laughs> to teach uh, my subject matter and so um, I started looking around and yeah I tutor is just really the things that I've looked at the best the best out there um, I love the fact that I can just take my computer and go visit. Some of my grandchildren live just two hours away. And yeah, they go to school, I go to work, I'm finished, and we go to the ball games. So many of them play sports and I don't have to miss anything. Um, so there are some definite advantages to being at home too. And you know, um, your lunch hour is your own. Everyone's already thought of this, I'm sure, but your lunch hour is your own. And, um, you know, your planning period also, yeah, that's, you know, that's real. And I try to um, separate family time and uh, work time, you know, and so that I wasn't working um, all evening, of 